Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my tarot channel. And if this is your very first time, a very special welcome. I'm Bonnie, Old Soul Mermaid. And like I said, this is my tarot channel where we do unboxings, first impressions, and discuss tarot topics. And all this through the lens of this 53-year-old ex-Mormon woman. So without further ado, this is going to be kind of the double whammy. It's going to be an unboxing, but also a side-by-side -side comparison because the deck in here is the Five Cent Tarot second printing by Madame Clara. Now, I did several months ago, I did an, a full unboxing and it's on my channel of the Five Cent Tarot uh, Kickstarter first edition. So I have that with me, but um, <laughs> I don't think the cards have changed. What I wanted was with his second printing, his, sec his second run on Kickstarter, uh, there were different color choices and I preferred those color choices of the cards and the edging to the original iteration, which is very nice. And I enjoy them and I enjoy working with them, but I, I was looking at you know, you got some other way out color choices. So we're gonna take a look. So I just slit open the bag and I got this yesterday, the 8th of September. So it just comes in this uh, padded bag. I think a little less fuss than the original Kickstarter uh, campaign. I think, well, let, let me open, before I say anything, let me open this up. So I've got the yellow bag. And as opposed, I'm gonna come up a little bit. As opposed to my first, the first printing was, I chose the red bag, and then there was also a choice of a more gray or pumice colored bag. So it's the same, I'm gonna to take a feel, pretty much the same bag. Um, you can see the emblem, five cent is, because this is red, it's a little more prominent, but very, very nice. Oh, I do see that there are tassels on the first edition and no tassels on the second. So let's pull this out. And what else do we get in here? Oh geez, it's knotted. So you guys are gonna have to endure me on doing this. Very nice little mini bag. I don't know, you could put, if you're into charm casting, you could put some charms in here. Oh, it's a coin. You see that? Destiny, fate, fortune. And this is actual like old coin that you put in the slot. This is very cool. Um, and his card. Greetings from Madame Clara. My wish for you is good fortune and powerful insights. Let's see what the universe has in store for you. Be sure to see all my projects at MadameClara.com or his Etsy shop. He has a Etsy shop. And please remember to share the love with a review. Cheers and thank you, Madame Clara. So I didn't back this second printing on Kickstarter. I went through his Etsy shop when it was in pre-order status after the Kickstarter um, ended. Okay, so this says the five cent tarot second version. And I got the twilight blue version, matte gold foiled edges. So we're gonna see, I don't think, but I'm not totally sure, cause like I didn't uh, do the Kickstarter. I don't know if there's gonna be any changes. Um, I know that there's some extra cards in the first edition, and I don't know if those are gonna be included. But once I get this opened up, we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison. The box looks the same, the same type of box. 
I know, I'm crazy, right? Just because I wanted an, another color of the exact same deck. And I think this is the one I'm going to use. And I'm going to put the other one away in safekeeping. I really do enjoy this deck. I love the Victorian feel, the ephemera. Um, so let's open this up. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take the other deck out of its bag. And just so you can compare, I think I got some art cards with the first, you know, the Kickstarter. I got this spread cloth and uh, a numbered edition. So I have uh, 366 out of 1000 in the printing. So that came with the um, yeah, this little silky spread cloth came with the, the first edition. And here we go. Box's design is very, very similar. So it says first edition on the bottom, and then it's a second edition for the yellow one. This is my second edition. But the boxes are the same. Looks like I got a little bit crushed. Aw. Crushed on this side. Kind of sad about that. My first edition came in perfect condition. All right, so let's take a look at the boxes. If you can see. It's the same, ask the cards. It's just the color that is different inside. And I do have um, the guidebook for um, both editions. So it looks the same, we'll compare because I know you, you wanna see the cards. So first edition, you can see they were edged in this um, green and I chose the pumice. You could have also gotten plain edges and I think there was one more color and you could have gotten like a darker green gray back. So very earthy in the colors. Now, I'm gonna put that off to the side for a minute because we're looking at the new one. Yeah, the exact same on the inside of the box. I'm pulling off the sleeve. So, these are the backs. The beautiful backs. And the cardstock, and there's the comparison of the backs. I chose this Robin's Egg, I think is what they call it with the matte, with the gold gilding. Uh, they say it's matte, but it looks kind of sparkly to me. The exact same cardstock. Actually, this one, the second edition feels a little bit thinner. And the size, if you can see, the second edition, the blue is a little bit wider, I think and just like an eighth or a sixteenth of an inch taller. I don't know if my camera is picking it up and I'm using my uh, ring light because it's super dark and overcast. We have a rainy day here in Austin, Texas. So let's look at these edges. I wouldn't call that matte. I wouldn't call it meta metallic either, but it, it has some sparkle to it, if you can see what I mean. All right, so let's, now these are a little bit lighter. They're more beigey, where this one is kind of a gray green. And we are going to zoom in closer. So, sorry in advance if I bump my camera. It's actually a phone. I'm using my phone, y'all. And we're going to...
going to tilt up and maybe we can move that back a little bit just a tad all right do you see the color difference and I don't know I think you can see it okay it's not too 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 glary all right so this is the fool and you notice like I said I have a full unboxing and first impressions of the first edition which is right here and this is the second edition um, you notice that it, it has keywords and also reversal keywords the magician and I believe you can still get this deck it's still available <clears throat> excuse me for order uh, on his Etsy shop so you just type in Madame Clara and you can pull up his shop high priestess um, he does have a corresponding Oracle that was on Kickstarter and it deals with phrenology the science that old science of phrenology Here's the Emperor. Uh, I did not back it. It's on the Kickstarter's over, but you can um, pre-order it right now on, on Etsy, and I'm debating whether to do that or not. I don't know. I think I will eventually, but there's some other things that I think I want to get first. The Lovers. Oh, now I'm noticing a change in the keywords. So, okay, for instance, the lovers. First edition, the top keyword was relationship. And then here it's commitment. And then in the reversal position, he has, it looks like discord in the second edition. It's disharmony in the first edition. Because I'm looking at the keywords upright. It's commitment here. It's partnership here. We've got separation, separation, crossroads. Here we have self-love. Here we have choices. We have the extra self-love here. Um, here, if we're in the reversal position, disharmony. Here we have infidelity. Interesting. Okay, I've been going through the cards. And it does look like some of the... Yes, the heading and the keywords have been changed. Okay, so I've gotten through, this is card five, I believe, right? Five, Hierophant. So here, Wisdom, second edition, Mortality. Here he has Mortality, Wisdom over here, Doubt, and Freedom over here. In, let's look at the reverse positions. Here he has indiscretion. In second edition, he has rebellion. Okay, so that's good to know. So the artwork really hasn't changed, but he has changed the uh, keywords in both the reversed and upright positions. So that's, I guess, a major major change all right so just know that I'm not going to stop and you know point out all of the um, changes in the keywords but know that that it looks like there's at least some change in every card as far as the keywords it looks like the artwork is the same here we are.
are for the hermit. Now I'm, I'm sorry, I wanna get through these. I'm just, now that I'm going, I wanna see what keywords have been changed. So it's gonna be a, maybe a little bit different experience reading with one from the other. Uh, this one, the Wheel of Fortune has not changed the keywords. No, it's the same. And it looks like justice is the same. So maybe it's not all of them. The ones that I did look at though, this one, it looks like there has been some change for the hanged man. So interesting, a good number of them, it looks like have changed and some of them, maybe a few have not. Here we've got temperance but the artwork itself has not. I think the card stock is pretty much the same, come to think of it, now that I'm handling them. I think I like how in this lighter color, the colors pop a little bit more. just because it's a lighter background. And that's, you know, that's a given. That's gonna happen. The star. The moon, so here we have the head, keyword is subconscious, here we have repression. Oops. Came in the reverse position here. I love this sun card. So the good thing about a deck like this is because you you don't have to worry about you know being included and and you know having it be too much of one thing. This is nature. It's kind of Victorian ephemera. It's uh yeah, it's you don't have to worry about being represented. It's a complete nature deck. The world and now here we are getting into the extra card so it looks like they let's see if all of them are included so we have the unknown the beyond it looks like he kept the keywords the same for the extra cards and that makes sense The universe, the messenger, and now we are going into, what did I do here? I think I may have gotten this mixed up a little bit. And I may edit this portion out. Okay, Ace of Matches. So all I have to do, I got my core. I, yeah, this, my first edition was out of order, so I had to hurry up and put it in order before I filmed. Here we go. <laughs> Ace of Matches. I'm just quickly yeah, there's changes in the keywords there. Two of matches. And I'm just, you know, quickly glancing as I flip through these. The artwork seems to be the same. If you all catch anything different, let me know. Because I'm just flipping through. Trying to make this so it's not so long. Five of matches. But if you didn't get this deck the first time, um, it, now's your chance. And you've got some pretty, you know, some cool color options. Hoping that there's still, you know, all of the color options are available. I think you get a choice in your bag and a choice, you know, in the edging and the back of the cards for the second edition. 
and I am a very small channel and I would really appreciate it if you're finding any value to this video to please hit a subscribe, a like, uh, hit the notification bell, leave a comment below. What do you think um, between the two versions? Is this something that wasn't in your wheelhouse before? Maybe you regretted not getting and maybe you think about getting it now. I think it runs about $50. So we are at the page of matches. So that's wands, so Knight of Wands. Yeah, leave me a comment. That's also helpful for my very small channel. Um, one of the things I try to do on this channel is try, when I do my unboxings, I try to give you a really good look at the cards. And I find for myself, I view a lot of channels <clears throat> when I'm looking for decks to see if they um, resonate with me. And when I find a good channel, you really get a good sense of the cards, the card stock, if it's described well. Now the, I think, and just to go back, this is like a linen card stock finish, just so I don't forget that. But if you have people talk about what's in the book, the card stock, giving good uh, views um, with decent lighting, of the cards themselves so you know what you're getting. I have made very few dud purchases because of unboxing videos. There's one that has been a dud so far and I might may do a video on that one. <laughs> Maybe I just need to work with it more, but I, I don't feel called to work with that deck. And maybe I'll just do a video about that. So we are at the Five of Cups. So the keyword on the first edition is disappointment. Second, di second edition is lamentation. Six of Cups. Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups. Uh-oh. Oh, I got these reversed. <laughs> Forgive me. I was trying to get this deck ready very quickly. Nine of Cups. So yes, I don't see a difference in the artwork. I think there's more of a pop the background of a second edition just because the background is slightly light, lighter, a little less gray in the color tone, you know. I guess they could, this is more like pumice. This is more like beige to me, I guess. If you want to put a label on it. The Queen of Cups. The King of Cups. When I was working with this deck, when I first got it, I really enjoyed the energy from it. Ace of Needles. So that's swords. Needles are swords in this deck. <clears throat> I if I recall very good readings and I used this to read on a few other people too and it was I mean it gave the necessary messages and I think I did some relationship readings with it I did uh, some career a career reading with it and it was um, you know head on and I got good feedback with these cards and I very much enjoyed reading for myself with these I think 
I used this uh, deck for my readings for almost a month. And had a very pleasant experience with reading it. It's it's surprisingly, you know, there's a lot going on with the imagery and a lot of keywords. But, and if, at first I thought it was going to be distracting, but it wasn't. And actually it got me started reading with reversals. And if you have Madame Clara's other decks, which I do, except for the, the newest Oracle that's coming out. Um, he has reversals, I think, on his other two decks, and I do read reversals when I use those decks. It's got me kind of hedging towards reading reversals. Um, I feel comfortable with that, with these cards, so it's definitely a great deck to kind of nudge you in that direction. And also his other two decks. I believe Madam Clara's name is Rick. <laughs> Can't write. his last name escapes me. Is it Palmer? I think it starts with a P. But. And we're at the Queen of Needles, and or the King, and now the King of Needles, King of Swords. I love this bunny and it's got kind of you know steampunk energy in here it, there's a lot going on with these cards a lot of fun energy animal nature energy victorian edwardian energy actually i think this is more victorian so now we're in the pentacles which are buttons in this deck And yes, I think I'm going to put away my special first edition and read and use the second edition. The only complaint I have is my box came a little bit dinged up. I'll see if I can remedy that somehow. Because you know, when you pay $50 for a deck, you want every precaution to be taken with shipping. Um, I know the the post office, you don't know what goes on and how things are handled, but still, you know, I pay $50 and it's my second deck. Uh, I love this deck so much that I got a second, a second version. So, yeah. I'm persnickety with, you know, how the condition that my cards come. And as, as I've said before, like with Amazon, they sending decks and flimsy envelopes and they've come dinged up and banged up and I've sent them right back. It's not acceptable at all. And even if I'm just spending $20 for, you know, or $25 for a mass market deck. I'm paying good money to have things, you know, you're buying it new, you want it to arrive in good condition. It's not the same as if you're buying something that has been loved before, you know, used or, you know, well loved. When I buy something new, I want it in good condition, excellent condition, perfect condition. And I'm, I'm, that's just, I'm persnickety that way. And we are at the Queen of Pentacles, or Buttons. And now the King of Buttons. So, yes, that was a total side-by-side -side, um, um, walkthrough comparison of the first edition and second edition of the... Five cent tarot. Now the one thing we have to look at, and the cardstock is exactly the same. It's matte linen finish, linen-y finish. Um, not quite like the linen finish of a bicycle playing card deck. It's not that flexible. It's got some kind of a core into it, so it will hold up. 
Um, the one more thing before we go, let's look and see if the guidebook is exactly the same. And it appears to be so. Let's see, we've got little pictures and a paragraph. And it's the same for the major and minor arcana. And it's the exact same guidebook. So there's no differences there. Exact same number of pages um, just from viewing the table of contents. So that is the same. So let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Did you have a preference? Do you think you missed out on the first edition and now you want the second edition? Let me know. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will be back really soon with another video. Until next time.